Midday YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Rhino Punter Beer. Howdy. This is one of the very last bottles of this in existence. This is uh, Fusalis. Sweet. It is brewed by the Bose All Natural Brewing Company in Van Cleek Hill, Ontario. It is a mango saison. On 10 Fort Terry Fox Drive, I see they're yep. located. It is a collaboration Fox, beer Terry by Fox. Bose Terry and Fox. Le Trou de Diable. What's he doing back there? So, is that an anteater on the front of the label? It might be. Top shelf, right? Top shelf? Mm -hmm. Local spring water, organic mango juice, organic nice. barley, wheat, organic hops, and saison yeast. So uh, this bottle is pretty old. Um, where was when was it brewed again? Uh, back May, in May. May twenty. So he told me, Steve told me that the bottles are still good, just some of them are getting some protein buildup in them. Right. He goes, but I'm sure you guys will drink it, right? And I go, yeah. Well, we drank five year old uh, Innocent Gun. I'm sure we can do this. But there's nothing wrong with drinking a beer with protein buildup, right? No. Nope. Like, there's a change of. It doesn't it doesn't change the flavor of it or anything, right? <laughs> Nothing wrong with a protein buildup. Nothing at all. Like it doesn't affect the taste of the beer, right? No, not really. Protein shots don't affect the taste at all. It makes, uh, it makes it a little salty. <laughs> salty. Take it in the eye. I don't know. It's gonna be weird. A salty mango, an orange. Alrighty. Oh, so. Look at that. You're not supposed to chew on the flavored condoms after. Unfiltered, <laughs> nice big white head. Yeah. Uh, the head does fade pretty quickly. I watched Lots it fade out of, of bubbles, his glass right? really nicely. Very carbonated. Yeah, there is really nice. no protein buildup at all, really. No. Lots smell. Of bubbles. Oh, that's good. Wow, you can smell the orange in there, eh? The mango comes out amazingly. The uh, the nice saison the, the saison yeast comes out as well. That kind of peppery. Delicious. Yes, it does smell very delicious. 4.4% alcohol. Either of you want to try some? I wouldn't mind trying some. So if we're looking at it, 4.4, this looks like this, it's going to be very yes. easy to drink. And 4.4, so it's really, it's it's standard for so the So is style. this uh, just a summer brew they usually uh, This was a seasonal they made right, be right in May, just a collabor collaboration thing. They like to just try different things all nice. the time. So let's go. Ooh. Wow. That's like a perfect white beer, man. That is so smooth. That is. And it's now what I'm tasting, the mango's not overpowering, but you can taste the mango. Yep. Right? The mango comes out, the pepper comes out, mm -hmm. the citrus comes out. Mm -hmm. This is a great beer. Everything that's on that label is true. Again, uh, yeah. as we were seeing in the glass, a little more carbonation than I would personally like. A little more harsh on the palate than I'd like. Yeah, not, can... not harsh taste, but harsh carbonation-wise. Yeah. But yeah, this is really good. It's spicy, eh? It's got a nice bite to it, eh? It does. It's very refreshing, very easy drinking. Wow. That's fantastic. I, I could drink bottle after bottle of this That's stuff. too bad. That's Are they still producing that, or? No. Not at the moment, no. That's too bad. Him. That's fantastic. I'll give this an 875. I really enjoy this. I would buy this again. Anytime this was for sale, yeah, for I'd sure. buy it. It's just too bad it's hard for us to get this in Niagara region, but yep. yeah, you can find it. That's fantastic. Very nice. I give it an 8.9. Alright, an 8.9 and an 875. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.